Hello, what is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Time Traveller. Yes, I forgot the name of the series. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Time Traveller. It's currently night time. However, we've now upgraded to beta 1.3 and it's on the latest version of the beta. Um, let me get some wool. Actually, I should have some. Yeah, we have some wool and we should finally be able to make a bed here, guys. I've been very excited for this, um, been waiting a long time. Uh, oh my god, we can make a bed, and we can sleep in it too. Ah, oh, that makes such a difference. We can skip nights now, we don't have to wait for 10 minutes, just so we can go work on something. Other big changes, in beta 1.3, we now have the option to use smooth lighting, so that's what I'm doing now. Before that, we didn't have smooth lighting, and it was it was not smooth. As you can imagine, um, what else, what else? There's now a limit FPS option, I think. If there wasn't one before, there is one now and I'm using it. And the big change is, this is my first video where I'm now using OBS to record both video and audio. Now, I'm having issues with OBS and just my hardware not being quite up to the task with OBS specifically. And, well, Basically, I now have to record at 30 FPS because 60 FPS overloads my encoder and the video becomes extremely choppy. So for the next while, we're going to be using 30 FPS here, unlike 60 FPS that we did before. And yeah, I don't think I'll be going back to Fraps anytime soon, maybe just a few different videos here and there. But we're now going to be mostly using OBS, so I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. If there's a slight loss in quality, that's why. But it just makes my life a lot easier with, with having to sync up the whole audio stuff. It just all synced up for me, nice and simply, and I can record to different audio tracks. Makes my life so much easier. Why do we have a chicken here? Let's kill that. That just randomly spawned there at some point. Um, so yes, in this episode I want to go and place that bed. Well, I'm going to keep that bed that we just made. I think I'm going to keep it in here. I don't think it blocks anything. No, it doesn't block anything. So we're going to make another one real quick. And we're going to go place this new bed in our house that we made quite a little while ago now. It's been years, I think. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna go over here to that little house over there. And I'm going to place the bed there finally. And we might end the episode sleeping in that bed. Um, this, will, this will take a little while. Um, <laughs> don't really have a huge plan. For this episode, I mainly just want to test how it's all going to work with me recording with OBS now. So, we have the bed here now. Amazing, I know, right? Um, let's eat some food. I, I don't like not having full health. I still don't use armor in this because there's nothing for me to use it for. Let's kill these pigs though because I need food. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be enough for now. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go chop some trees down. Maybe I'll grind a little bit of something, I don't know, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so I just did some reading up on the changes that took place in beta 1.3, yeah. We now got actually a lot more stuff than I thought we did. I thought the biggest change for me was going to be the bed, but no. We now have redstone repeaters in the game, which is a massive change, because now we can do, well, better redstone for one, and Two, we can actually do redstone because I can't imagine doing redstone without repeaters. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just terraforming this land a little bit. I want to make kind of like a nice little path over here that goes underneath that. Um, I don't know what this is. Balcony, I suppose. And yeah, I'm just I'm just doing this right now. Um, Another big thing is now we can rename worlds, so I'm going to rename this world to Minecraft Time Traveler, so it's not just World 1 anymore, and then when you guys download it, it'll be easier for me to name it to the episode it was for and the version, rather than just having to specify it in the notes. I don't know if anyone's actually been downloading the world, because I don't look at that very often. Um, so yeah, what I want to do over here is I want to make this wall out of cobble and then over here I want to make it out of some kind of slab. We've been given 
three slabs. We have cobblestone slabs, wooden slabs, which are highly blast resistant, and also uh, resistant to fire, which is going to be for a very long time until release 1.3, I think, actually. So that's going to be really useful. And actually, you know what? I want to make some kind of secret entrance over here. That would be cool. Um, so we can, we can have a door over here, I suppose, of some kind. I don't know what. Maybe not a secret entrance, but like just an entrance. I want to have kind of like a cellar. I mean, I suppose the entire house is a cellar, but I want to have like a cellar over there. And maybe, I don't know, store some barrels of some kind there. We, we don't have many choices for blocks, so it's going to be a bit tricky to be creative here with what we can actually build. Um, so yeah, just making this out of cobble. And... Ooh. I don't know what to do there. I suppose I'll continue with the shape of the balcony and not smooth this out. That makes more sense to me. Okay. Just like so. Alright, alright. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, over here, I suppose we'll just have a wooden door of some kind. And then over here, let me just dig this out. I think this is going to be the first clay I mine. So yay, first clay. Clay at some point will become very valuable when we get hardened clay, although that's a very long time in the future and we'll probably be on a different world, but I don't know, I may, I might keep this world in the future because I've been, I've been considering it a lot lately just to not switch the world because like I'm going to be working on this very hard for like 50 episodes or so and I don't want to just switch it because Enderman I added. Like I know that this entire wall is going to be a bit messed up because of Enderman. But we'll try to we'll try to avoid any issues with them, I suppose. Uh, I, I should probably fill this in as well, actually. So I'll, I'll do that right after this. And I'm out of cobble. So yeah, let me just finish this up and I'll be right back. And it's blowing up again. Alright, so I got this little pathway over here done. Got a wood outline over here. Pretty nice. Got smooth stone slabs. Double, of course, because you can't do upside down slabs for a long time. And I'm quite happy with this. I think it's fairly decently lit up. Or at least it is for now. But I'm not sure what to do over here because I don't think ice regenerates. There's no weather yet. So ice doesn't regenerate for quite some time. I don't know what to do here. Um, I've been given the suggestion to like make a dock of some kind. Um, maybe I'll do that. Um, over here, I'm not quite sure what I'll do. Maybe I'll just go off in this direction as well. Uh, have some kind of path over here as well, going up that mountain and up to the patio we built over there a while ago. Um, but right now, I'm thinking maybe let's work here in the cellar. So. I I don't really want to dig it very far down. I want to dig it down by only one block. And I want it to start over here. Um, now, I'm not quite sure how big I'm going to make it or what exactly the purpose of it will be. Um, I'm going to store some chests here, that's for sure. Because I need more chests in my world. Um, basically... Right now, all of my like stone that I've been getting from excavating this mountain, I had to put it down in my basement over there somewhere next to my mob system. And it's a bit of a pain to just go there all the time because you have to climb up the ladder all the time to get back. Uh, I'm hoping if, if I do this right, then I won't have to go very far at all. Um, it's just going to connect underneath there somewhere. And then... This is just going to be like a back exit, so this isn't like the, like it, this isn't like the um, main entrance or anything, because otherwise it would be far too inconvenient. Because I'd have to walk outside, and if it's nighttime, then there'll be mobs and stuff, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna see how far it is until I hit anything useful. Well, okay. Uh, it looks like I'm going to need to dig a little bit f further that way, maybe. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. 
Um, all right, let me see. Okay, so that was quite good, actually. We ended up over here. Um, I'm not quite happy with the location of this. It won't. It won't be like right there. I'm thinking I want my door to be at least three blocks from here. So I'm thinking maybe five. So this is the border. So one, two, three, four, five, or four. I don't know. Three of those blocks. Hmm. Um. Let's let's think. Yeah, I like I like this location. So I'm gonna have the proper entrance over here. Okay, and I'm gonna cover this up. Um, just like that for now, I suppose. And then I'm gonna dig this back as well. And actually, you know, what? I'll connect them. Uh, this will also go down by one block. Um, like right over there. And let me just see how far this needs to go. Okay, it's not too big. Yeah, I think this will be pretty good. So I'll just hollow this out and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've now got all of this dug out. Um, I've got a little bit of iron here, let me just collect this real quick. And we're going to go smelt some iron real quick as well, because we're actually all pretty, pretty much out now. Um, so this is very good. Um, every build, in my opinion, needs to have an inspiration of some kind. Now, my inspiration for this came from a video I watched quite some time ago. For the entire base, like, the inspiration came from that one video I watched quite a while ago. Um, and it's good, but, like, can always be better. So, something else that I'm going to be inspired by, I think, is Dishonored. My favorite game of all time. I'm, I'm sorry, Minecraft, but... Like, this one is just the OG game. Um, and what I want this basement to be inspired by is the basement in Slackjaw's um, distillery, I think. I don't remember the name of it properly, but what I want is to have brick in the walls. I'm pretty sure it had brick. Even if it didn't, the general inspiration for this is anyway, because it has the main entrance here, and then it turns off to the right and has a secret exit over here of some kinds, and of course this can be expanded, we, we're gonna have a little secret room as well over here around about, uh, it's gonna be underneath the rest of it, and it's where we're gonna be doing like crazy science-y experiments almost, it's, well it's an office really, but yeah, um, in, inspired by the solid. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have some clay going, and I'm gonna have some iron going, and I'm gonna go Try to figure out where I want my chest to be and how I want them orientated. So I've got one chest here. And I'm going to try to figure out a way that I like this to look. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I have my little office over here. I'm going to make some stairs and have it over here. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. But the way I'm going to have my chests is something like this. Uh, I have a nice little window over here, by the way, to let some natural light in. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, kind of like one of those high up windows. It's on the eye level of the outside, so I'm not sure how that's going to all work out, but I think that'll be fine. Over here, this is all going to be brick. Um, I just made the bricks and they have a pretty bright texture, so hopefully I can actually get this back. Yeah, okay. Um, and the way I'm going to have my chest is something like this. I have, I'm going to have a double chest with a stair over top of them, over top of them, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be in the wall, and I can still access it, and this way I have a three wide walkway in the middle here, and still chests, and then what I'm going to do, I'm not sure what block to put down here, but I'm going to have another chest on this level, um, just like so, and this way I can fit in twice as many chests into the same area, and that's going to work out pretty well. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get them into the walls here because I need to like jump and place them against the block. You can't place them against um, the chest because I'll just open it. And yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, and now let me—that's uh, those are stairs. 
Oh no. Yeah, that's the only problem. There's no um, stairs or slabs for bricks yet, so I can't make this into the correct block. So that will be rather interesting. Maybe I can put them over here because I do want to use brick. I don't want to just use cobblestone all the time. Don't know if that's too bright or not. Hmm. I'll have to play around. Alright, so I've got one side done here. Uh, this is quite a lot of chests. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 15 chests here. Double chests, that is. So that's 30 inventories worth, which is quite good. Um, but I think we'll end up expanding quite some more over in that direction. And maybe making this go back that way again and having more chests etc and yeah I think I think this is going to be quite a big area in general and I might need to make my office a little bit further down so I can actually fit this or maybe not even have an office I don't know maybe have a different kind of cell over here I don't know uh, I'm going to need to put some more over here um, I'll do that right now actually but I'm thinking, how can I implement more of this brick? Because I can't do it there, but I can do it at the top there. So I'm thinking if it's worth it. I'll put, I'll most likely put signs here to show what is what, um, just in general. So that'll probably be useful. All right, so I've got two sides down here. I've got a little wooden path over here in the middle. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on either side now, but I can't actually put stone. Uh, or brick, just normal bricks here. I can't do that because these are stairs above these chests here and As I said, there are no Brick stairs yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to come out I don't know when it might be a very long time, but when they do come out I'm going to change those to bricks everywhere on the walls and that will be that but for now, it's, it's going to be just like this. I'm not too sure what to do for the ceiling. I'm thinking just wood as well. Uh, I've got a door here now as well, as, so that's pretty cool. Um, I want to see what this looks like from the outside. Hmm. Yeah, I think it'll look better if it's all... Like, if it's not cobblestone, because we've got cobblestone outside here. So I think it'll look better if it's brick inside, or some other kind of material that will look good. Uh, it might, might be wood. I put some torches up here as well. It doesn't melt the ice, that's good. And it lights up a little bit towards the end here as well, that's good. Mobs can't spawn over there now. Um, and yeah, that that's pretty much it. Um, let's sleep. Um, I'm going to start moving some of my cobblestone over to the other storage room now. Uh, so I'm just going to do this. And I'll... That'll probably be what I'll do for the next few minutes here. Uh, just moving back and forth. Uh, I'll also see if I can take out some of the stuff I have over there. Maybe I'll push it over here as well. Or maybe I'll just leave it down there. Yeah, I'll just leave it down there because I don't really need it. Um, so yeah, I've got a nice large amount of storage here now. That's really good. And we can... This is for stuff that we can get a lot of a bit too quickly. So I like cobble here. Uh, we can get a lot of it way too quickly, and we have nowhere else to put it. But other things like uh, wood and, and stuff, we're still gonna we're still gonna keep it in the main storage room over there. Because um, in most of my worlds, even though I have a small storage room like this, I'll have another one for the big stuff. Um, like in my Let's Play world, there's the massive storage storage room at my second base which is basically just stone and cobblestone in the entire room um, yeah, that's pretty cool um, one thing I do want to mention is th this is this is probably not going to be enough and when we're updating we're definitely going to be making more of course and as more blocks come out we're going to need more storage and yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out in the future, but for now for now this is quite good, I think, because we we now have the uh, freedom to keep most of our blocks, which is more than I would have been used to do. Um not sure if that chest if uh not chest, if this crafting table should be over here or over here. I mean, it makes sense to be over here, but I also like it over here because that's the 
border with the chest over here and then we have that one block border over here to kind of like transition from chest to a pathway and yeah uh, I do think I'm gonna be ending the episode here now though uh, maybe just do a few more little things I want to go see if I have any more clay around um, I haven't really explored that way too far well I've got some clay over here um, I haven't explored that way too far before I don't think so I'm gonna go there with you now uh, I already went just a little bit to like, like that hill over there um, found a little bit of iron got that um, yeah we've mostly been that way quite a long way and I think that way and maybe that way um, I don't really remember going this way though so let's go explore while we still have daytime on our hands and extend the length of this episode here because I don't have any more content to make um, there's a cave here uh, most of the caves are kind of like just dead end they're not anything special got some coal over there that's good to know um, what else what else this is a nice deep ocean um, this might be there's a little hole over there as well this might be ideal for the underwater like base I want to do further over there like near my base this might be more ideal for it oh I can't see anything yeah this this is perfect this is nice and deep I can make an underwater base here that'll be perfect for it that's really cool um got some kind of cave there that's over there you might see some cobble that's where I got the iron and let's see let's see I had I don't remember being anywhere past this point on the map so let's just explore it a little bit got some sheep um got what appears to be a nice amount of sand over here there are no deserts yet so like any beach like this is good because we can just dig it up for all the sand and not have to worry about it ever again um, one thing that slightly annoys me about this world is all the cold in this biome or just like the fact that it's just a cold biome there, there, there's it, it takes a few minutes to walk somewhere where there's not snow that's a little bit annoying uh, let's pick up these uh, uprooted flowers. We can put them somewhere in our base. Uh, okay. Just more snow, is it? That's fine, I suppose. Uh, let's kill this pig. Get food. Nice. So that's a little bit of food. Oh, we have tiger over there. That's awesome. That's a different type of tree. Um, I don't. Yeah, it, it's gonna be until release 1.2, I think, until we get different colored woods. Maybe 1.1, but no, we can still use the um, different. Uh, what's it called? Bark color, I suppose. Yeah, we can use different bark color still. Uh, I wonder if I'll get one of these saplings, or if it will just give me a oak sapling. The leaves are different, so I'm assuming we're going to get a different sapling from this, so that's really good. Um, this is quite a nice area over here, I like it. Uh, I think in the future this is where we might expect wolves to spawn in the next version, actually, in 1.4. Alright, let's get some of this wood. Uh, it just says wood, but it, it is a different color, so that would be really nice, actually, in, in this new storage room that we just built. Um, okay, that glitch doesn't exist yet. Oh, and we get we get uh, normal sapling. That's so sad. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna mine up a whole bunch of this eventually. Uh, it seems like there's quite a bit in the area, so that's very good to know. I, I won't mine at all, of course. When we do have access to different saplings, this will be good to have the spruce wood. Um, yeah, this this is nice. I I've been looking forward to this. Um, and you know I. I think I might head home now because we're about halfway through the day and we've still not explored or we still haven't found anything new really um, over here it looks like the sand not sand snow disappears I, I can't speak English today can I um, the snow disappears and we have normal terrain there so it's quite a long way it's almost a thousand blocks out uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna head back now. I'm gonna grab some of that sugarcane and plant it near my base. I don't think I've gotten any sugarcane yet. That's very good. Um, and yeah, I'll see you back at base.
Alright, so I am back at base now. Did this just update? This only just updated. How strange. I am back at base now, just as it's turning night, so that was perfect timing actually. Um, and to end the episode, we're just gonna go over here and sleep in our bed that we'd made and put it into our proper house. So yes, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.